Lockdown for me uh, wasn't too bad. The weather was nice. I was able to, to go outdoors. Maybe not for two weeks, but the uh, other time I could spend outside, I was there. During the lockdown, the easiest for me was to climb around my hometown. The nearest rock was Golobove Pecine and the uh, area called Sopota. I was uh, pretty lucky so I could travel between the cities. First we were not allowed to climb, so I came here and I bolted some new lines. Then after, when, uh, when climbing was allowed again, I was happy to, to come back and finish all of those projects I bolted. For sure, the best line in Canyon for me is uh, Zlati Res. That's the route I bolted uh, during the lockdown, and it's about 50 meters long, and I spent like two or three days bolting it, and then another few days to, to finish it off. I like it because it's uh, super long and you can find this kind of routes uh, around my hometown. So that's the first thing and the other thing is that the cruxes are really amazing and climbing itself all the way to the top, it's amazing. During the quarantine, I was doing some uh, specific uh, exercises for my finger strength. A few days I spent on my, uh, like in my parents' place where there is a small climbing wall. So the wall is uh, maybe not the perfect one. But luckily I got some good volumes to, to set some cool looking problems. 
Yeah, of course it's not like a world class uh, wall, but uh, I think I think for the current in time I set some pretty pretty cool and hard boulders which I managed to climb. I think all, all of the projects are done now, so I can climb my projects outside now, not not inside anymore. So this is uh, another place close to Globo Vepicine. The hardest route here was 7A or 7B, but there was still potential in the overhang on the left side from the waterfall. So I started bolting routes there in 2011, and since then I think we have five routes that are harder than 8B+, and there are still some projects to be climbed. I'm Martin Bergant, I come from Skofia Loka, Slovenia, and I'm a lead climber. We are underway now and we have the first climber out, Martin Bergant from Slovenia. I know we're all mistakes, I know. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be really happy with that. At this time of the year, I usually do the competitions, but uh, at the moment there are no competitions, so I have a lot of time for rock climbing. Uh, in the east part of Slovenia, uh, there's not many hard or strong climbers, so I'm always super happy if there are some strong guys from the west coming to, to visit my local areas. At the beginning, I didn't really have any goals. Then I started thinking about uh, 9A, and when I saw this route, I thought myself, that's it, I want to do this one. Actually, I was pretty happy when uh, Domen Škofic did second ascent and now after the lockdown I was also super happy that uh, Martin came to, to this crack. Obviously he was training hard for uh, his competitions. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that, uh, that he got there and uh, finished it off in like a in, in few sessions and I'm, I'm super happy if people repeat my route. Pescena Ura is an old project of mine. I would say it's, uh, <laughs> first of all, it's hard, uh, brutal and uh, challenging. I'm pretty sure that uh, the original line, uh, the original boulder problem in the beginning, it's uh, way harder than uh, the line on the right and I think it stands at around 8B uh, Fontainebleau grade.
I really like this route because it's uh, quite bouldery uh, and the crux is at the very beginning, but still you have to climb quite a lot after that. Not really too many moves, but pretty much all of them are hard and without any proper rest. Still at the end there is a really selectional move where you have to, to hit the pocket uh, so you can continue to the top. I climbed the easier variation of the route in 2014. So then after, I think it was last year when I finally did the, the boulder problem, but didn't really try to connect all the route because there was simply no time for it. And then this time uh, during the lockdown, I finally got the chance to focus on like hometown projects. And I think that was the perfect choice. I would say I've been working on it for quite a few days uh, before I finally uh, send it. Actually, I'm pretty happy to live in Slovenia. In this time during the lockdown, I found out that there are still like good rocks to be to be climbed. I also bolted some new lines, as I said already, and uh, still can't wait to finish them all.